there. So that's just a sudden downpour outside. But I've never seen it come through that section. This section of the, um, the ventilation system. But obviously it's been through that way before because you see that stain? That's what that means, that water ran that way before. But straight down out of there, I, I, it seemed like something opened up. So all the trains have been rerouted onto the express track, the local track of 42nd Street. And the QR and the W trains are all running on the express track. Nothing approaching and nothing to see their back. And that's a testament that whatever is causing that, the runoff, above is in this general area because that's running and uh, that's running and those are about 20 feet apart but if you look up the track there is nothing running there and if you look down the track there's nothing running there and you can hear it dropping slowing yeah I just came from outside. So the sudden downpour of bush water into an area that had to be released rapidly. Our train running on the express track. You have never seen that normal big deal. Switch over before they reach even 49, but definitely before they reach 57. As soon as it started is as soon as it ends. That's all that's left of that sudden downpour. And usually you can look up and you'll see through a grate or something that allow that water to come through. So that's something in particular that has to be looked at because it seemed to have came, it seemed to have come through the masonry instead of 
some kind of a great. And as you look at that CNI dog there, that lab is extremely wet. Yeah, somewhat drippingly wet. So that's where that came from. Even a bigger downpour than I saw where, before I came down. So no fuss, no muss. The rain stopped and the leak stopped. But the end train and the others are still on the express track. Till the engineers take care of that.